Now, following what has been a horrendous amount of rain last night, you can see a few patches here on what is the channel course at Burnham and Barrow. But the fact is, I've got white shoes on, light grey pants, and most golf courses in this country will be shut this morning. Right, so welcome to what is a special edition of Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. We're on the nine hole channel course here at Burnham and Barrow. The channel itself is looking lively, those waves are crashing in. There's a bit of a breeze, but the rain has finally stopped and we're about to take on another three hole challenge. So for those of you not familiar with Man vs Golf, is a quick recap on the rules. I'll be playing three holes. It is me versus the stroke index. The first two holes count as a single point. The final hole counts as triple points. And what that means is a relevance of the results of those first two will be going down to the wire. Well, the first thing you will note is a change of club because I did have driver out, but we're taking a tactical change to a five wood for the first tee shot in this challenge. I am taking on holes six, seven, and eight on the challenge. And this one happens to be stroke one and it looks extremely tight. Right, so like I said, extremely narrow. I'm gonna go down the right hand side, which gives me a little bit more room in terms of run out from what I can see. We need to get this, I mean, in theory, five wood for me is possibly about 210, which would give me 150 in. Come on. Well, that's a great start in the challenge. That should just kick off. I must confess that was a little bit further left than I thought, and I can't quite see it coming down, but the shot shape and the banking suggest that we might be in the middle of the fairway. Right, well, I've left my rangefinder in the room. 122 uh, on the disc, one, oh, six, 118. I'm assuming they are to center. Um, I don't think there's any bunkers we need to worry about. I think it's safer left rather than right. I think there's a drop off to the right and we've got a bit of a bit of an uphill lie to contend with. So just how much is that gonna pop that ball up? and uh, potentially you lose some yardage. I'll just kick off again. Kick off to the right. All right, didn't. I swapped, interestingly enough, from a wedge into a nine iron. I think it was a good move because I think that is certainly at best sort of pin high. It's certainly not long, but again, always leaning against the upslope. The tendency for me was again, just to tug it just that little bit left, trying to force it. So we'll be in and around there somewhere. Oh, what an incredible green complex. Don't forget, this is the second course. We've got the championship Burnham and Barrow course just over the way there. And to have this kind of condition green as a nine hole is incredible. We've gone into a little hollow just left, which I thought we'd done. But if I'm honest with you, there's a more severe drop off on the right hand side. And I think this is probably a good miss. And we were pin high in terms of the club. So perhaps a little bit unlucky, but it's a fairly narrow green and small target. Question is, how do we play this? I've always got kind of either a lofted wedge or the chipper and invariably it comes down to the chipper. Not a nice uh, stance to be fair. Right. Is this the right club? Don't doubt it and commit to it. Just slow a little bit. Ooh, sit. Do you know what? I think that was what I call a good effort. It wasn't far off being really good. It had a chance of going in, as you can see, but we've got a bit of work to do. To get the win, don't forget, this is stroke index one. Well, we've seen it going past the hole. It didn't do a great deal, and I'm not one for sort of wasting too much time on these, because, well, based on that, I'm on pretty much at the cup. We hold it. It's a four net three for the win. We've got two for the half. Oh, a slight pull to be fair with the putter. It wasn't the best effort. And uh, yeah, a little bit of work left even to finish that off. The greens are so pacey and not forgetting, it is absolutely poured down for the best part of eight hours overnight. The greens are ridiculous. Okay, so next up seventh, it is a par four, 334 yards, stroke index five. We've got the, uh, the lighthouse that's very much associated with Burnham and Barrow uh, in the distance there. 
pretty much straight down again it's about finding the center of the fairway and leaving yourself a short iron in but as you can see it's not the widest of fairways so i think the choice is going to be i don't go five wood again we could do with much of the same shot as what i've just hit off the previous hole right we're going to the lighthouse i think uh that is where we need to be let's see if we can get a nice easy swing again Ah, uh, yeah, it's off the bottom a little bit, a lower ball flight, but it should actually work and chase along. It's still chasing along. You can't believe how in many courses, like I said, across the UK, it is uh, going to be very, very wet this morning. And you see a ball like that just bounding along the fairway. It's so different playing Lynx golf in the winter and uh, oh, they don't know how lucky they are. Right, so we've got, we've got quite a lot of green on the right hand side to work with. We don't want to miss this left. I think again, and I keep using it, but the lighthouse is probably a good line. Don't turn this over to the left hand side, but we've got no green to miss at all. Come on. Okay, now just kick off and get me a bit close to the hole. Oh, in fact, ah! Not enough club. It was, um, I thought I could go easy on that and clearly that uh, false front again has, uh, well, it's done what it should do. It's catch anything that plays short and it's just rolled back a little bit. Not the greatest of short irons, to be honest. Well, we've, we've come back down what is a very uh, steep bank again and uh, these runoffs, even more prevalent on the championship course, but they're such a good design. We've probably got the best miss again, if you like, because over the other side, it's really severe and you've got no shot back up to that flag. Now, if you've got a decent short game, you might be suggesting you'd play a wedge here, but I think that the danger is thinning one right off the back of the other side. So I'm going to go with putter and see if we can give ourselves a chance. That's got to roll out a bit. Well, do you know what? I'm more than happy with that. Um, and we're on a shot here, don't forget, a stroke five. This is one of those really horrible ones where it's probably further away than I thought and further than it looks and also may have a little bit of movement in it. Do we go, well, I say do we, we're gonna go firm and center. Come on, commit to it and trust it. Yeah, that was a good choice. So that's a win. We've got a shot on that stroke index five. So that puts me one up, but that means nothing because the next hole is triple points. So positioning the flag, I think, around 118, 120 into the flag. Yeah, just 120 yards sounds simple, doesn't it? But having spoke to a lot of members over the last few days, this is what Burn and Barrow claim to be their answer to the postage stamp at Royal Troon. It is a tiny, tiny green. Elevated tee position, a lot of wind out there off the channel. And as you can see in and around the green, there are a lot of swales and hollows to what is a very small target. So yet yeah, only 120 yards. We've got to be fairly accurate. And the first thing is get this club selection right. Right, so final hole, triple points, and uh, to be honest, yeah, I have not been swinging a club that great over the last few days, and I could really do with a decent finish on the championship course. If you've watched, then, uh, well, I didn't fare too well, and Burnham and Barrow is winning right now. But if I can get a win on this hole, and that means a par, then I'd walk away with the win. Come on, and see the shot. I've had a hole in one for a while. That's right, the best iron of it today, is the yardage right, just sit in the middle. Oh my word, it's long. Ah, oh, well clearly wrong club selection, by far the purest iron I've hit, probably in the last few days, and the club selection is wrong. Ah, oh. right, all I can say again is what a little green this is, it's superb, but you don't want to be here because this is like a ski slope down to the hole and uh, severely off the left. This has got to be delicate. And we need to get up and down. Come on. Do you know what, it's not a bad effort, but I think that's gonna go past it. Do you know what it is? By a mile. Ah, 
Okay, so the positive is we've got an uphill putt. That was incredibly slippery down the slope and I didn't think I played too bad of a chip shot. Anyway, this is another one putt shootout because uh, it's win or lose, depending on this going in. Right, firm uphill, give it a chance. Oh my word, it didn't want to go in. And then at the last drop, and I'm not sure how, because that seems to be going against the grain almost, it manages to fall in. We get a win finally at Burnham Barrow, but just how good is that in terms of a par three? But how good are the three holes that I've just played on what is, like I said, a second course here at Burnham Barrow? Barrow. What a great place to play some golf and get a quick nine holes in, incredible. That's me done, that was a little bit of an extra um, man versus golf. We were here to play the championship course, but couldn't resist having seen this for the past few days to having a little go here this morning. So I hope you've enjoyed that. But if you're in Somerset, you fancy some high quality golf, then uh, make sure you get yourselves down to Burnham Barrow. And finally, in a man versus golf hole challenge down here, I get a win.